All right, so for rounded edges, there's a couple ways we can do this. So we can get a cube. And I guess if you just wanted it to be beveled, we can go to the edges. So I'm just doing a right click edges, selecting everything, shift right click, bevel edge. And then I'm zooming in and I can go to fraction, holding down the control button. I don't know what it is on a Mac, it might be command or something else. And then I'll put in segments of two or more. And so I can get some roundness like this. And then if I wanted to, I guess, um, make it a little bit more round, I could do something like shift right click, insert edge loop tool, double click on it, get this and say something like, let's say three, or let's say four. And I can click on it like this. Q to quit the tool. Four for wireframe. I'm just middle mouse button panning and looking at this. And then I could do something like taking the vertexes right here. And I'll take all of them. Five. So I just took this row right here. I'm going to raise this up. And I can deselect this one. And I can press four just so I can make sure I'm deselecting. And then raise up. You could do something like that for like a fake kind of rounded edge. You could also get a cylinder, take this, we'll turn it 90 degrees. So we'll do uh, e, e for rotate, shift, oh, my bad, wrong program. Uh, oh, J, hold down J, <clears throat> get the 90 degrees like this. I press F to focus in, then I can right click and go to faces. Select all these bottom faces right here. Now hold down control and deselect these. So I just have half of this, right? And what I can do here is there's a couple of things I could do. I could press uh, W and I could like just pull it down, but now nah, that won't look as good. So I'll just leave it like this. I'll press delete. Here's a tool I didn't show you. Well, I guess I kind of did, but I just didn't do it with edges. So if I double click on this edge, it'll give me like the whole edge loop. So just double click, I have all this, right? So if I, I do shift right click or control E, let's just do shift right click, shift right click, extrude edge. Can I let go? And if we go to this thickness, not thickness, uh, my bad, the control Z again. Extrude edge, let's go to offset. We can drag this down. And then we could press like E or W, I'm sorry, and drag it down and then we could like scale it in or do something to it here. Another way we can use this tool is we can just double click on it, press, I mean, shift right click, extrude. So it says extrude, right? And, we're, and we haven't touched anything over here. And then you could just press uh, E, I mean, I'm sorry, W, and then just pull it down so that it's like, it maintains the same um, angle as the edge we're extruding from. So we can go do something like this and pull it down. Now here's another tool I'm gonna introduce you to. Um, if I can show this down, my channel. Is a fill hole, right? So right now I'll look at it like this. Oh, and I have my grid right here. If I don't want to see my grid, I can just click on this right here and the grid will disappear. And I think if you do it on show, no, wait. Um, well, anyway, yeah, there's another way to turn it off. I just, not that important. We'll just use this one, right? So we can go to edge. Uh, Let's do a bridge. So we'll select this edge, hold down shift, select this edge, and then do a shift right click and bridge. And now that bridge, that piece. Now there's something else, right? Since I already did that, right? 
I'll press Q to quit, or whatever, and I can select this, and then I can select this, and then I can do shift right click, and I can do bridge again, right? And then it'll bridge. But a faster way I can do it is like this. I'll just do this again. So I'll select this, pull down shift, select this, shift right click, bridge. So I did the tool the correct way, right? I'm pressing Q to quit the tool. Now I'm selecting this, selecting this. Now to repeat the tool without doing the shift right click, all I gotta do is press G. And it'll repeat the tool with the same settings that you already use, all right? So that's one way we can do that. Okay. Um, I think I saw the other reference. Let me stop this.